camera investigation that will break your heart. Parents building nurseries for children who never arrive. In a five-month investigation, Rescue 4 Undercover exposes a local company taking tens of thousands of dollars from want-to-be parents but not delivering the child. And that's just the beginning. Here's Rescue 4 Undercover's Karen Drew. Cops descend. Homes are searched. They know that they owe them a baby. But let me just ask you a couple questions. You won't believe what police found in this house. I don't need this. Why all the controversy and cover-up? Well, it all starts here at this home in Lansing. This is where baby Jameson was supposed to lay his head. A nursery built just for him, centered around Winnie the Pooh. Jameson was three weeks old when the Heinrichs chose to adopt him. And we just seen him, we knew. We looked at his chubby little cheeks. Amanda and Reese Heinrich wanted desperately to be parents. After four years of infertility, they turned to Waiting Angels, an adoption agency out of Macomb, run by Simone Borogina and Joe Beauvais. Remember these faces. We had done everything that we could possibly do, you know, check Better Business Bureau, got, ask for references. We didn't feel any kind of pressure or anything, but then she said, whenever you're ready, fill out the application, uh, mail in a check for a thousand dollars. Little did this couple know this was the first of many bills they would receive for a child that would never make it to his nursery. She knew the right words to use to it wasn't this child, it wasn't that baby, it wasn't your case, it was your son. She kept saying, your son. The Heinrichs took out a home equity loan. Twenty-two to 24000 is what she had said was, that was the complete deal. All the time, they received photographs of their growing son. Hi, hey, Mama. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Along with home videos every couple of months to show how much he was growing. Family and friends were so excited, they held a baby shower for Amanda. She had told us by October, get ready. You know, take your vacations now and get ready because, you know, your little pumpkin will be home for Halloween. Thanksgiving passed, and so did Christmas. No answers, but lots of excuses. It was a holdup with the attorney in Guatemala, and that it wasn't her fault. Months passed, no baby. Then, the devastating news. There was a signature missing on the birth mother's ID. That meant little Jameson could not be adopted. A missing signature from the birth mom, that's crucial. That's when Amanda started doing some digging. I'm talking to all these other women, and none of them have their babies. The Heinrichs tried to get their money back. They refused. They won't give us a dime back. The Heinrichs gave up and literally closed the door on Jameson's nursery. That's where Rescue 4 Undercover comes in, and the story really takes a turn. One of our undercover producers called and left a message for Simone Borgina, saying she was eager to adopt and waited for her to respond. It didn't take long. This is Simone calling from Waiting Angels Adoption Services. I just posted one that was born on Sunday. I'm expecting two more babies, um, baby girls, um, today. Borgina was eager to meet and sell us on Waiting Angels. I mean, like I say, I, I'm up and up. She went through the process and the fees. Well, the first stage is, okay, they just file the adoption with the courts. But when our undercover producer asked this question... Well, have you ever had a couple that never got a baby? No. No? no? What about the Heinrichs and baby Jameson? Guess they forgot about that family. And the other families from across the country joining in on a class action suit against Waiting Angels. So many questions. A search warrant is signed and police search Borogina and Beauvais home. Rescue 4 undercover cameras roll as the computers, the boxes of adoption files, and something very interesting is confiscated out of their homes. Karen Drew, Channel 4. Let me just ask you a couple questions. These people are spending tens of thousands of dollars and they're not seeing any babies? It's uh, because they're impatient. I have no responsibility to fix that paperwork. I can't. Meantime, over at Borogina's Clinton Township home, you won't believe what police find. Nearly a half a million dollars in cash. After the money was confiscated, we showed up at Borogina's home. Simone, I know that you're inside the house. And I know Joe is here. His car is out here. Why did you have some half million dollars inside? No answers. As police sift through the files, search the computers, and try to figure out where all this cash came from... 
Back in Lansing, the Heinrichs keep Jameson's nursery door closed. Too difficult to see and too difficult to clear out. Two years later, we've got a room full of stuff and a payment booklet for a home equity loan and dreams of what could have been. Rescue 4 Undercover has been sharing our findings with state police and the state attorney general is considering pressing charges coming. Now, Karen, this will break your heart. How are the Heinrichs doing? You know, they're really in a bind. They took the home equity loan out. They don't have any yeah. other extra money. They're hoping that maybe some of that half million dollars they seized is theirs. Well, we hope so, certainly. And great, and you'll let us know. Definitely. As the story progresses.